good morning. Thought I would show some of the journals that will be available tomorrow in my Etsy shop. This one is the Jane Eyre journal. And I do have a couple of plates that you can substitute for the original one if you don't like the stamped on muslin look. Um, this one is a fairly chunky journal. It's covered in some tapestry with some really old uh, crocheted lace. And it is secured with an elastic on the two Chicago screws that are antiqued. When you open it up, it is full of things. It has a, a fold out pocket right here and a little flip up. Um, this little pocket has a pull out, little tag with some words on the first page of the novel. You turn it and uh, here we have a um, matchbook journal. I love making these. Um, these just have little pockets with some, some enclosures. Uh, and it works just like a matchbook. You close it up and flip it into secure it like that. Some ephemera that's reproduction, of course. This is another fold out with a um, Jane Eyre, vintage Jane Eyre spine, which is actually the spine of this book I have. These are my Jane Eyres. I have more, but these are the ones I have in the room with me. And then here are some Jane Eyre journal cards that I created. I, I love this image. I think, I think she's a uh, graphics fairy image. They go back in that little tuck spot. And um, here we have a stamped pocket. You, Jane, I must have you for my own entirely, my own. And uh, here's a tag made with a representation of Jane Eyre and as well as um, some, a journal card and another journal card you can put your thoughts on. Um, here's a picture that's from the uh, National um, Archives. She's in the public domain. She's a daguerreotype, and I just think she looks like what Mrs. Fairfax might have looked like, the housekeeper at Thornfield Hall. Now here is a pocket that's made from an actual page from an old Jane Eyre that fell apart. Here's a tuck space with uh, some more uh, journal cards, a wax seal, and here's a little envelope with an enclosure, a picture another possible Jane Eyre candidate. Now this is the, um, the enclosed mini journal that does have quite a bit of paper in it that would allow for journaling. You can tuck it right back in there into that nicely secret tuck spot old lace, lots of old lace in this one. Um, all crocheted, a lot of it crocheted from possibly, probably the early 20th century. Uh, here is a double pocket with all kinds of goodies in it. Some, some badges, a Jane Eyre slide. I do love making these Jane Eyre slides. Um, and here we have a Jane Eyre quote and and another matchbook with some paper, tiny little matchbook memo pad. <coughs> Excuse me. And another uh, envelope, and this is a fun one because it is made from pages of a Jane Eyre novel um, that copyright was 1909 that I, I got. Um, that is that just fell apart. So I just took the pages and I, I uh, 
and I stabilized them with some Mod Podge and turned it into envelopes. Now here's a flip up with some more little badges and a little butterfly and another another slide and a, a journal cluster. And here's a quote that I got from that same old dilapidated book and a teeny tiny little badge enclosed in this one. In that pocket, teeny. Now here is an actual cabinet card of a little girl that I thought could represent the description of Jane Eyre in the novel. And uh, one of the little wallet, journal wallets that I've been making that I really have fun making. And this is stuffed with a cluster, some, some Jane Eyre, a nest, just some fun things you can either place throughout the journal or or not, just keep them as they are in the in the wallet. This is really old lace, this one right here. Here's a little a little tag with um, a quote from the novel, actual vintage paper, Jane Eyre. I love making tag clusters. Here's a fun one the bird, more of the novel language. And here is another journal card that I designed and made. And I named this one Miss Ingram. When she comes for tea, here's the teacup. Here's a tag made from the book with some words in a pocket. It's, it's stabilized with them. Um, gauze and also a Mod Podge. Now here's a fun little journal I made. I really enjoyed creating this one and it is, um, once again, old old book pages stabilized with Mod Podge and cheesecloth. All the little pages are a bit different but you can write on them. folds out, put a bookmark in there. Some more journaling cards. A, a little pocket with a journal card. You can add more snippets of paper to that. And then the final page with a pull out. So this one will be available in the shop tomorrow on the 23rd of January, and I hope to see you there.